I'm gonna explain to you how gear honing works. If you're confused or don't understand it in its entirety, by the end of this video, you will. I will do a nice, easy, slow explanation so you will understand it clearly. Now, first and foremost, gear honing is basically just upgrading your gear. This is a Korean MMO and they decided to name everything really stupid. So it's called honing, okay, instead of upgrading or RNG. It's basically, you take a piece of gear and you make it one higher level than it was before. For instance, if you look at my gear here today, I have 13, 12, 12, 12, 12, and 14. These are the level of my currently equipped gear. Now what I'm gonna do is pick one of these pieces and if I click on it, it says, okay, I need to upgrade it and then hone it. Upgrading and honing are separate. Upgrading, when you click on it, you are going to only use harmony shards and it's going to cost you silver for the privilege of wasting your harmony shards. You're gonna go ahead and click upgrade. This will max it out in terms of experience. Now it is ready to be honed or go to the next level to get the additional stats for honing it. I will say that again. When is at 100%, it is ready to go from 12 to 13, for instance, and that is when you acquire the, the gear stat increase. The 100% doesn't do anything other than it being ready to spend the resources you see in the middle here in exchange for the opportunity to have it be leveled. This is 60% chance out of a total of 90% chance capped. What does that mean? That means if I choose to use no additional resources, I have a 60% chance of this succeeding. If it fails, I do not need to bring it to 100% again with more harmony shards. I only need to repay the cost of these here for the chance, meaning the 450 of these and the nine of these. I'm saying these because it's gonna change depending upon what level. And I will talk about the gear uh, honing materials and where to get them in just a moment. I just want to explain this process first. Now, I'm gonna show you this. So I'm gonna gear hone and we are going to pray to God that the 60% chance was completed. Here we go. It went ahead and I do have a lucky day today. It went from 540 to 560. And you can see, in fact, it increased its stats while we increased the level. And we did not see this stat animation increase before when we only brought it to 100% because now it has been honed and now it has the stats. So if we go to upgrade this again, which I will need to, let's go ahead and spin these. We go to hone it again. You're gonna notice it went from 60 to 50%. As the gear gets higher level, as you hone it higher, it will drop the success rate every time. That means that at the maximum level, plus 25, from my understanding, it is 0.5% chance to actually go from 24 to 25, which is the ultimate in-game points, basically. You may balk a little bit at that number, and that's fine, but the, this video isn't about discussing the balance of the game. This is about making you understand how it works. So there is a way to increase your success chance. You can see the total success chance went from 60, 90 to 50, 80, meaning there's an additional 30% available in wiggle room if I choose to use resources to increase my chance. Now, I could do that. You can see I could put star breath and it would give me 1.5% each. I've already used these, so I have none of these left. I used them on my weapon and I do recommend using them on your weapon for reasons we will discuss in a moment. And if you look here, the tailoring basic book will increase it by 10%. Just for the sake of showing it to you, I will do it this time. Whenever you use your materials, they are, they are completely used regardless of whether or not it's successful. So if this fails, my book will be used, but I did get my 60% chance instead of my 50. It failed, there you go. My honing success up to 50% plus 5% so far. You know this why it says honing success rate plus five? Because when you fail to hone something, because you can't fail upgrading, only the honing part once again, when you fail to hone something, it is going to increase your chance of the next one. Now it is 55%. Now that means that I once again have to spend the 960 harmony shards, the nine leap stones, and the 510 guardian stone fragments for the opportunity to flip the coin of the 55%. So you can see how failing this multiple times in a row can become very expensive very quickly. And that is basically where the end game lies in terms of upgrading. So how do we actually get these materials? Well, you're gonna notice that I have two stacks. I have ones that are tradable and ones that are not tradable. 
Some quests and islands, etc., will give you non-tradable versions, and some will give you tradable versions. The tradable ones mean if you really wanted to, you could go and sell it straight up on the market for, uh, for gold, for instance, or you could buy them from other players. That is where the pay to win aspect comes in, and that is where um, people are spending way too large amounts of money to get very small amount of resources. Whatever you do, do not buy it on the market currently. There is a hyperinflation of wells spending large amounts of money to get resources as there's only so many people playing the game and so many resources coming into the game, that the, but there's basically an infinite amount of cash coming from outside of the game. The prices are bubbling until the demand lowers. Therefore, you're going to need to earn them yourself. So you might say, okay, DM, get to the point. How do we earn them yourself? Well, there's multiple ways to do this. You can do this, first of all, I'm gonna mention the one that everyone knows, which is basically going here to your compass and clicking on your dailies. You can do all your dailies, like your chaos gates, you know, the ghost ship islands, etc. You can go do one of these a day. You can also do two chaos dungeons per day. And I have a video talking about chaos dungeons as a guide in its entirety. You can find as one of my previous uploads on this channel. So I won't go into detail on the chaos dungeons in this video. You can also do your guardian raids and you can also run alts in all of the same things I just said as all of your alts have different separate dailies. You can also do your Unis tasks once you get to the portion that allows you to do that. And you can see there's rewards for that here, as well as the weeklies can have some pretty fat rewards as well, including, look at this here, relic related faucet stones. And we will be talking about fauceting stones in a different video. So make sure to subscribe if you like my explanation style. So one of the things I want to mention is when you're done with North Vern, one of the best places to get resources is just above North Vern. There's this island called Shadow Island. I'm currently working on it. It is going to ask you to do some very easy quests and each of those quests are gonna give you fat stacks of resources. I will show you now. I'm currently on one of these missions and I need to go there currently. If you look here, I just have to turn in. This is the very last one I'm on. When I turn it in, it's going to give me a Harmony Shard Pouch Medium. It's gonna give me 14 10 stacks of Guardian Stone Fragments, and it's gonna give me more Destruction Stone Fragments as well, and that's just for turning in one portion of this quest. The previous ones even gave me more rewards. I was able to upgrade several pieces of gear just off completing these quests. And also this Shadow Island quest will tell you to do the tower. The tower is another great place where you can do your resources. So really, instead of sitting here in front of the camera for multiple minutes and just explaining that, okay, you want to go do all your dailies, I'm just going to say, once you finish North Vern, go to that Shadow Isle. It requires 250 item level, so it's not too hard. There's tons of people there that are willing to help you. It's a quest you can do in a party. And on top of it, it sends you to do the tower afterwards, which is something that's crucial. And there is limitations in order to complete that tower portion. Uh, item level requirements. However, all of the ones previously do not have them. So I would recommend going to the Shadow Isle, getting a bunch of free resources there. And after that, it's the obvious stuff of do your quest, man, go do your islands, do the stuff like this Legion Chaos Gate when it's showing up, play the game, basically. Hopefully this helped. I'll go into more detail in other videos. So consider subscribing. This video is just to explain the honing system. And hopefully we did that for you today.